What does the Holy Bible really say about medicines and doctors? Well, right here it says, A merry heart doeth make like medicine. I don't have time to do this all, and I've got to I've got to go fast, so you'll have to freeze frame it. Now here, God gives you affliction because you're not doing right. Here, it's about kings and princes are not supposed to drink strong wine. It perverts judgment of the afflicted. The light of the eyes rejoice the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. All these are about health, evildoers, iniquity, and you will be stricken for it. But thy bruises and your wounds have not been closed, neither with ointment. Ointment, back in those days, was not at a pharmaceutical company. Now here God tells you, I will not be in healer. Pretty much if you don't do right. Here you will be healed if you do right. Pleasant words are like honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Doesn't say medicine. Medicine to man now is pills. A wicked messenger fell into, fall into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. Good ointments. This is what the ointments, ointments were possibly made of back in those days. And the Lord will smite them. And the Lord shall make Egypt and all. And shall smite and heal it. The Lord does that and he shall heal them trust the Lord The Lord bindeth up and healeth. And here they use a lump of figs to recover a boil because the Lord told them to do that. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. He's talking about the future medications.
return you black backsiding children and I will heal here his wounds incurable their affliction In their affliction, and the angel of his presence saved them and had pity on them. They shall die of grievous deaths. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people. That is kind of like a rhetorical thing. There is no healing because they have done no good. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. Now here's the one I want you to hear about in just a second. Listen on. Instead of God. Instead of taking meds. Or maybe he was on the set. 
subject. If uh, you'll do what Satan says, he'll give you the world. Well, Satan says, take medications. And you get a check. So he might have been on target. And a job. Now that man was slurring his speech. He was heavily medicated. That wasn't an accent. He's medicated. He's a pastor that's been medicated studying the Bible. Yeah. Now, the Bible Gideon. This is like a rhetorical question. Is there no bomb in Gideon? Is there no physician there? Why then is my, why then is not the health of my daughter of my people recovered? That means, what that actually means is, there's bomb in positions, but she's not recovered. Why? Because God don't want her to, to be. Well, all through the Bible, it says, Take heed, take heed, be not deceived. And this man that is so medicated and driving, by the way, that his speech is slurred, is trying to tell me, just be saved and do what you want. No, it does not work that way. You've been brainwashed. Even Jesus said, your sins have been cleansed. Go and sin no more. So you see, the people, the pastors and priests and such that are teaching you the Bible are medicated. You are reading the Bible medicated. So your senses and your perception is off target. I'm talking, you're out there, you're not comprehending anything that is supposed to be comprehended. Now, there are parts of the Bible that's missing. That's a fact. But you have to cipher through. You read it, comprehend it, cipher through. These are just a few parts of the Bible. Some diseases are not curable. It's God's choice. Meds won't cure you. I'm going to show you all this out of the Holy Bible. Now, while that medicated Christian tried to throw my stance off, he didn't. Here's another one. In vain thou shalt use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. Go up to Gideon. Use the bomb. You're not going to be cured. It says it right here. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Now, this is against pastors that are medicated and messing up the flock. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee, says the Lord. This is Zion. And the Lord said, Behold, I will bring health and a cure.
for I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Not go take a pill, not go to a physician. If you turn from your evil, it's pretty simple. Your graven images, that's your TV. Your idols are your cell phones. It's really simple. does not intimidate demons or antichrists. You know why? Because they've got you too medicated to understand it, to get the power of it, to get the power of God. God gives you power. God gives you senses. God gives you discernment. You don't get it yourself. Now, the antichrists need cell phones and such. To keep tabs on you and learn you and study you to destroy you. God knows everything. Period. Credit cards. Now. A food stamp card and government money is because you're medicated. When you're not medicated, you will lose that. Or self-medicated. But it's better to lose that than to lose your soul. Holy God in heaven and Jesus help us. Amen.